Good afternoon everyone, Ron here, Precision Sail Loft, doing a walk around of a really nice head sail here. This is 135% Genoa, uh, it is a furling head sail for a CNC32 MK1, and this is made from our Precision 300 series Dacron. We've added on some really nice uh, UV protection here, we've got uh, Sunbrella in navy blue, Really quite nice. Uh, other than that, pretty uh, straightforward sail. Let's take a quick walk around and see some of the details. She's a good size sail, so I've got, uh, I got it folded over a little bit. But uh, let's start down here in the clue corner. And we'll take a look. This uh, UV is really well done. Stitching's perfect. No missed stitches. Nice zigzag there. And then you can see on the other side here, these are the pockets. You can see the stitching of it there. Uh, the pockets for the leech and luff lines, or leech and foot lines, sorry. I'll just quickly flip it over so we can take a look at that. And you can see these are Velcro pockets. Um, and I'll see if I can open this up kind of one-handed. The Velcro is a bit tricky to do one-handed sometimes, but you can see there inside there's a Velcro tab, and that's what we use for our head sails attachments. And then it's covered up and that makes sure that uh, there's no you know, cleats or anything inside of there that uh, are going to smash against masts or uh, catch on other lines. That kind of staying stays um, as you're tacking. So let's take a quick uh, walk up here. Oh, before we leave the clue, we might as well take a little closer look at the clue ring and the reinforcements. It's a good sized boat, so 32 footer uh, with uh, Going to require some nice reinforcements and that takes care of it quite well. Uh, we do have the nice blue draft stripes here as well. Doesn't 100% match, but uh, it's pretty nice. And then we'll just keep walking up here. I've got the sail, uh, just the head of the sail, raised up just up to the ceiling here. And what that'll allow me to do is let's just scoot in behind it here and we'll take a look so you can get a better idea of the quality of the material here. So. I'll just show you how close I am with the camera. Um, I'll just kind of hover over one of these seams. So there's the seam from the Sunbrella on the other side. And so you can get a good idea of how close I am. And the tightness of the weave is what we're looking for here. This is a good tight weave of the Precision 300 series. Uh, really a good cruiser here, meant for kind of lake sailing, northern sailing, coastal cruising, you know, the weekend warrior stuff. There's a good shot of the luff tape. And then we'll just quickly walk down here, down this luff. Telltales are on the sail, of course, when you get it. And uh, both sides with the red on, red and green. And we'll just quickly keep on walking down here. Brings us down to the tack corner here. And we'll, we'll take a look at, uh, this is a little bit easier to see than, than the clue, uh, the reinforcements that we have here. So one, two, three, four, five layers of reinforcements. Um, really quite nice, like the teardrop shape of them, and that's going to move uh, and protect a lot of those, a lot of the forces there coming out of that corner. So we'll, I'll uh, we'll just focus in. I've got another sail underneath here, but uh, just show you this, and it's something that we do. Not everyone does this. Um, this uh, tack corner here is webbing. Uh, because it's a furling system, it's a much better way to go than press ring uh, because that first turn is going to be a lot tighter and it's not causing any damage to that uh, ring. And uh, what we do is we then wrap the webbing in uh, actually Weathermax um, and that will give it some UV protection because that's exposed and you don't want that webbing uh, disintegrating in the sun. And then uh, something that we've added here as well are furling marks. And what these are is if you're going to partially furl this sail, uh, you can furl these uh, and checking wind conditions or wind speeds, you can then hit that mark again. So, you know, when you're, when you're asking your crew to uh, partially furl that head sail, you can say partially furl to first furling mark, second furling mark, um, that sort of stuff, two turns past the second, that kind of thing, right? Uh, so there you go, guys. That's a, a really good example of the Precision 300 series Dacron. This one happens to be for a uh, CNC MK, uh, CNC 33 MK2 and uh, if you're interested by all means uh, click the link below and we can uh, get a quote uh, over to you.